This year I ain't playing, I'm on a mission. I don't see no competition. Waiting my turn and I play my position. Sat in the room, I ain't talking that list. Hey guys, it's Dave again, JDH Reptiles with an egg cutting. Doing it here in my kitchen because I don't have anywhere set up yet to do it. Uh, this is clutch 18. The pairing is a pastel yellow belly lace male to a super pastel lesser lace. It could also be cinder. Came from an uh, Aussie. So cinder from my understanding is mahogany or they're the same stuff. So we're going to take a look and see what we got here. We've got six eggs. So white lace is what we're shooting for. So I'm going to put this aside real quick. And we will see what we got. So we'll start here with the first one. I'm going to use the cool red line scissors because that's what I have. All right. So I see lesser, probably pastel. I don't know about yellow belly. So a real high white syrup. I would say probably lace. I don't know about white lace, but looks pretty neat. Let's probably flip this around, then I can see. I don't remember all the genes. Yeah, so it has to be pastel because the female is super pastel. So yeah, all right, well these are some tough scissors to use. Oh wow, that's really cool. So with that darkness there, this has got to have cinder because there would be no other dark jeans. So that, man, is that white lace or what? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's my guess. So I'm assuming, obviously pastel, probably white lace, probably that cinder jean. Boy, that's, that's really cool. Can't wait to see what that thing looks like when it comes out of the egg. Mm -hmm. All right, number three. Again, first one. very similar to the first one. So pastel lesser, maybe lace in there, maybe yellow belly. And yeah, I'm not sure about that cinder jean. Definitely not as dark. I don't know if white lace makes it super dark. Yeah, I don't know. I know it pixelates it a lot and along the sides. But. All right, this will be number four. This has a lot of animal at the top here, so. It's another lesser. one. So that one looks just like a lesser. Yeah, pastel lesser. Mm -hmm. So I would say looking at this compared to those number one and number three, I bet these have lace in them. And this one, I bet, does not. Because it doesn't have the high white sides like those do. I bet that... Oh, well, there's the head. Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I know. The eye stripes on that one was different. Old, yeah. yeah. Again, I don't know if that's that mahogany or cinder or what that's... Well, we've never really worked with that gene, so I don't. we don't know. No, no, not at all. No info at all. Right, this is number five. See, that's another one's got real high white sides. Yeah, it's all belly. I'm not going to be able to see really anything. But the sides are super high white, which makes me think it's got to be less, I mean, lace or. And or lesser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that one will be a surprise. One last animal. One last egg. It's just high 
white on the sides. That's neat though. If you look at the alien heads in this, yeah. they all have like a little ring of color around them. Yeah, that's definitely lace. It's, you know, pastel lace, lesser most likely. And maybe that cinder jean or whatever. I don't know. It's not like super black like the first one. Maybe the other one was like hmm. the white lace that we were hoping for. I don't know. Huh? Interesting. Well, I guess we'll see when they come out. But I love their eye stripes. The eye stripes are really cool on this clutch. Yeah, that's really neat. I can't wait to see those out. This second one here, I think that's got to be the white lace. Whether the others are or not, I'm not sure. But that's really, really cool. So we'll put these back. Uh, I don't have them here at the incubator. I've got these set inside of a tub, a uh, spare tub I have open, and that's what's keeping them up a temperature. Uh, so they'll sit in there for a couple days, and then what I'll probably do is, if they haven't come out of the eggs by then, is, and I've done this in the past, I'll take all the eggs and I'll set them in like a shed box in one of my V18 tubs, and they will continue to, uh, to uh, get, keep warm there and come out of the egg. So, we'll get this back into that tub where they'll stay warm. We have another egg cutting in a couple days. And then, um, I think we got three more this month. And that'll do it until October. And we'll have one in October and then probably one in November. And that'll be the last one of the season. So, thanks again. Doing it here in the kitchen, like I said. Uh, check all the links down below. You guys take care. We'll see you on the next video.